Hey everyone, it's Martine filling in for Tara on food therapy today. And we're checking in with Ashley DiApollo, our amazing eight week weight loss challenger. Welcome back, Ashley. It's so good to have you. Thank you. It's so good to be here. Great. We're already into week six of your weight loss challenge. So let's get started and take a look at your weight loss so far. So your start weight was 268.5 and last week's weight was 256. Mm -hmm. So that gives us a total of 12 and a half pounds lost so far. Now, let's see your current weight. Drum roll, please. 254 pounds. Great job, Ashley. Thank Great job. You. So that means that Ashley has lost a total of 14 and a half pounds. Once again, losing over a pound a week. Congratulations, Ashley. So tell us, how did this week turn out for you? This week was great. It was a bit challenging. Um, I had to overcome a lot of vulnerabilities that you know, that's, that's difficult for me to do. Working out was a great way to kind of combat that though, that emotional stress. Um, and other than that, it was just kind of a great week. I felt very strong ending the week out. That's awesome, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So let's get an update on some of the challenges that Tara has given you. One of them was to work on portion control while eating out. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, what Tara and I kind of talked about was picking uh, the five places that I go most often. And I don't eat out very often, especially during this challenge because I'm trying to cook at home a lot. But um, I chose five places that I eat out and what I did was I went online and I kind of found the nutritional information for the foods that I would normally eat and then found healthier alternatives to those foods so that I kind of had a game plan and I was prepared before going into a restaurant. Oh wow, wow, great job, yeah. great job. So, and the, ch the challenge continues when you're eating at home. So what is that like? How has eating at home been going as well? Eating at home is a lot easier than eating out for me that, because that way I can kind of, um, I know exactly what's going on to my plate and I know exactly what I'm putting into my food as I'm preparing it. But it is a little bit difficult because I, I feel like I have to measure everything out that I'm eating. And when I'm tired or I get back from the gym and I'm starving, it's like I have to take that extra couple of minutes and pull out the measuring mm -hmm. cup and, you know, put the food in and then put it on my plate. So it's, it's a little bit more of a process than I, like, you know, honestly enjoy. But it's so necessary and worth it to losing that weight every single week. That sounds good. And I, the way I see it is what's a few more calories to burn, right? Right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yep. So Tara's assignment for you last week was to journal about the emotional and stressful side of weight loss. What are some of the hurdles you faced? Oh man, um, I've talked about it so many times on the show that I'm such an emotional person. So day in and day out, I'm having just all of these emotions with everything going on in life, not just within this journey. But within this journey specifically, um, I'm very self-conscious about certain parts of my body, my arms specifically. And going to the gym, uh, I would normally wear long sleeve shirts and kind of a challenge that I gave myself this week was to break out of that and to wear a short sleeve shirt or wear a tank top. So it was, it was very difficult because I felt very vulnerable and very insecure showing my arms off, but that was, that was definitely something that was difficult for me to do, but it was such a rewarding feeling when I was able to do it. And how did you feel about it when you did that? Oh man, I thought everyone's eyes were going to be on me. I thought everybody was going to be judging me and looking at me. And I was looking around when I was at the gym working out and everybody was focused on themselves. <laughs> and I'm worried about things that, you know, are, that don't matter. It never so, fails. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're always our own biggest critics. So um, it was great to know, to, to know that, you know, I was just being silly and in my head the whole time and that people don't really care. They're not judging me. And So yeah. tell me about the bathing suit. Okay, so I did. I posted a photograph of myself in a bathing suit on my Instagram account and on my Facebook page where I have all of my friends that have known me forever. And putting a bathing suit on is already really intimidating for me, but then being photographed in it was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing right now? I was terrified to post it. But um, what I did was I had my bathing suit on. I was like at a pool day with my family. I was like, told my husband, babe, take this picture. I need to put it online. I have to get it out there because I have to break these insecure walls down and um, I did and I received so much positive feedback that it was so overwhelming brought me to tears that all these people were just championing me and um, I'm getting emotional thinking about it right now but it it was just such a great feeling to know that that despite this like inner battle that I've always had that people will still just see me as me in regardless of what weight I am wow that sounds just beautiful liberating. I'm very proud of <laughs> you Ashley. Thank you. Thank you. Very proud of you. So what would you say is your biggest victory for the week? I know I talked about the tank top yes. and showing my arms and we just talked about the bathing suit. I think that just um, 
kind of like, it's weird, removing those extra layers of clothing were like removing layers of that vulnerability and insecurity that I have. So that was definitely my biggest victory, just kind of like shedding that negativity from, from me. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, so now let's see what challenge Tara has in store for you this week. Hey Ashley, it's Tara. I just wanted to congratulate you on your weight loss yet again this week. That is so awesome. Also, of course, wanted to give you your assignment for the week. So this week, I want you to focus on exercise. We've been focusing a lot on nutrition lately, and specifically with exercise, you've been doing such a great job at getting your numbers in, but what I want you to do is focus on intensity. So I want you to make sure that you're getting your heart rate up and that you're pushing yourself. And when you think about it, ask yourself, how hard am I working? You should be working somewhat hard to hard. If you're doing it too easy, you're not getting the full benefit. I also want you to look for ways to get some daily movement. So just get a little bit more activity, maybe go for a walk after dinner, take that cute boy that you are nannying and take him to the park and play around and just get some more daily activity this week. All right, looking forward to checking in with you next week. Can you do that? Yeah, I think I can. I think that I'm kind of wanting to push myself more. So this seems like the perfect challenge for me this week. You've been doing a great job. I've been watching your blog. So I definitely <laughs> feel you. like your momentum is building every week. Thank so you. Great. Thank so keep up the good work. Thank you so much. All right.